Hi everyone, this is the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. Today what I want to go over with you is how to mount uh, Encyclia tampensis or the Tampa Butterfly Orchid. Uh, before we get started today, I've got to acknowledge a few people. Uh, the first person is the individual that supplied the seed capsule that generated all the plants that you'll see today and many of the plants that I've been working with uh, of Encyclia, and that is uh, Jim Longwell, who was the president of the GCOA, or the Gulf Coast Orchid Alliance. So thanks, Jim. Uh, the other uh, group that I'd like to acknowledge is the Florida State Park System. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge uh, the people at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park, uh, where I'm a volunteer, uh, and that would be uh, Terrence Torvund, who is the uh, the manager of the park, uh, and then Ranger Peggy and Ranger James, of course, for always uh, helping out and making life exciting, and then the uh, the district biologist in the area for allowing me to uh, to do some work there. All right, so first of all, what is uh, Encyclia tampensis, Tampa butterfly orchid? Uh, it is a native orchid uh, that is grown most, uh, that grows throughout most of the state of, uh, of Florida. And the reason that I'm working with it, it's not an orchid that I normally work with, but the reason I'm working with it uh, and working with it a lot is because it's native and uh, I'm allowed to grow this in the park. It's one of the few uh, native orchids to the specific park uh, that I'm working with. So I, uh, I work with this orchid, I enjoy working with it, and I'm trying to introduce large quantities of this orchid back to the part that, that it's native to. You can't find too many of them, probably through, uh, through, through various means. Uh, I, think, I think people may, uh, may like the orchids and take them. Um, the orchid is a little bit uh, different from the normal type of orchids uh, that I grow. Uh, it can be found uh, growing in the in the trees and uh, actually fair, fairly high up in uh, in some of the trees. The flowers are small. Uh, they are fragrant. Uh, the plant itself is uh, is not that big, but it can it can the individual plantless, but it, the leaves aren't that big, but it can spread. And it actually some of the plants can be quite large. There's a tree, uh, a pine tree down the street from me that there's a huge plant that's growing way up high. It's about 30, uh, 40 feet up in this tree. Uh, and it's just a wonderful specimen, but it's, it's way out of view and most people don't even know that it's there. Um, but anyway, what I want to do is go over with you uh, how, how to mount it. I've generated most of the plants that I'm working with uh, from, from tissue culture. And these are some of the plants that I've generated from a seed capsule. I'll show you how to do that in, a, in another video. Uh, but these again are some of the plants and I've got a lot of these. Each seed capsule of orchids contains between you know, 100,000 and a million seeds. So this is only a small amount of the, uh, of the plants that you can normally get from these. Um, I, I took these in my laboratory, grew them out um, in, in culture, took them out of culture called deflasking. I'll have another video on that later. Uh, and now these things are acclimated and ready to go. So there's a couple of, a couple of different ways that you can mount these orchids. Uh, you can mount them in, in the park. I mount them uh, in the trees. There are certain types of native hosts that they like, but I'm just mounting them. I have so many plants, I'm mounting them everywhere. Um, when you when you mount them at home, any this orchid or any orchid, you can mount them on the, the way that I prefer is boards. And these are cedar boards. Here's a hanger for the board, uh, and I just mount them on the board and attach them with rubber bands. The rubber bands that I use are um, right here, and they are they're black rubber bands. I've got to get the box so I don't spill all the rubber bands out. The size of these are, as you can see, 7 inch by 1 8 inch, uh, and they're black. They also come in in green. And what the individual rubber bands look like is, is right here. I like these. These are not natural rubber. These are synthetic. And I like them uh, because they are, they're made actually for outdoor use, so they don't break down quickly. 
Um, you can use other types of rubber bands. You can use the natural latex rubber bands. You can use the rubber bands that surround, um, you know, your broccoli and and the you know that you pick up in the grocery store. So you can do all use all these things. I like using these again because they're meant for outside and they and they tend to they tend to stick around a little bit. You can also use um, many many uh, people that I know use zip ties to attach these to the boards and to the trees. Uh, I don't like using these these zip ties because they stick around a long time and I think they may do some eventual damage to the tree but a lot of people use them and they're fairly successful. They, they stick around a long time. Uh, and the rubber bands here eventually they're gonna kinda degrade and fall off uh, and, that's, and that's fine. So the way that I do this on a, on a board like this is I just take the rubber band and just wrap it around the board twice to create um, this type of situation. All right, so you just have two rubber bands, and these are fairly these are tight, um, and then you can you actually stick the orchid uh, right in here. Uh, the way that this is done, I'm going to pull one out of my. So I pulled this guy out, and you can see there's a pretty I got two of them is what you can see. Uh, there's a pretty massive root system associated with this with this plant, uh, and I grow these things. I should say, in um, you know in bark, uh, but you can see it's got a good root system. I then take uh, I have I have moistened uh, sphagnum moss. I put the moss in a bag, add water to it, and it gets wet. And then I kind of wrap the sphagnum moss only on one side of the plant right here so I put the moss on the one side of the plant the side of the moss that I the side of the plant that I don't have the moss on is what I'll stick to the board so you just it's very simple just slide this guy down attach put the pull the rubber bands over <laughs> if you can do this it's not hard to do and then just it's a question of then just kind of um, manipulating this, maneuvering this around, um, and just having this so that the rubber bands are holding this this on there. So that's pretty much all there is to it as far as mounting this. The sphagnum moss helps keep this uh, this moist uh, between between rain and waterings, um, and it uh, it just kind of protects the plant. There's no sphagnum on the back because you want the uh, you actually want the orchid to attach itself. Uh, to the board. So what happens over time, and this is one that I mounted uh, a few uh, some time ago, and what happens the plant is doing, again it's not that big of a plant right now, but you can see uh, the roots down here and this nice green root right here. You can see how they grow and attach to the board and this is what you want. Uh, ideally what you'll get to eventually this is another orchid that ha that is board mounted but what you'll get to is the uh, an orchid that the uh, the sphagnum it kind of falls off the roots attached and this guy will get will get pretty big and it's just sticking on the board like that so that's really all there is to this I do have one other thing to show you so in the park um, we don't have you don't have boards like this. Uh, what we have are trees that we mount to, and I want to show you how to mount it to a tree. So just to just to show you how this is done, I've got a um, this is a tree right here, um, and what you can see on the tree is uh, right here. There are I've attached a rubber band to this, so I just twisted this rubber band around. Uh, you then take the orchid right here. Put uh, moss on one side of the orchid, and just like we did on the board, you slip this down in between. If I can grab it, slip this orchid down in between the rubber bands, like so, and we have the orchid mounted on uh, the branch. Um, what you'll do if you have larger branches uh, is you just can take uh, the rubber band and cut it into, uh, actually cut it, and then reattach the ends to create a longer rubber band. So it, you can, and you can put uh, two or three rubber bands uh, together and create a long thing, and then you can go around your branch 
multiple times or just the amount of times you need with a wider branch in order to generate the same type of thing. Um, so that's all I have uh, for today uh, with the mounting of the orchids. Uh, happy propagating.